Any of us who have ever tried to teach a teen to drive know it can be a white-knuckle experience. And yet the stakes could not be higher. The leading cause of death for new teen drivers? Motor vehicle crashes. So the AAA Foundation decided to track families for one year with dash cams to see if parents really know how to teach the lessons that save lives. And John Berman has the tale of those tapes. Teaching your teenagers to drive, moments filled with high pressure you got a red light, you got a red light. and high anxiety. You need to pull over. You need to pull over to the right. But they couldn't be of higher importance. Car crashes are the leading cause of death for American teens, largely because they just don't know what they're doing. The leading cause of most teen crashes is quite simply their inexperience. For 16-year-olds, 75% of fatal accidents were because of driver error, much higher than for drivers over 20. This team took a turn too sharply, veering off the road. <laughs> this time, she misses the turn to the gas station altogether. What the AAA Foundation discovered was that parents need to step up their game, teaching kids to drive in all kinds of conditions, urban highways, bad weather, and in the dark. She's never driven with me on the freeway. She's too afraid. I always do that with my dad. 20% of teen fatalities happen between 9 p.m. and midnight, 5% higher than the overall population. Everything looks different in the dark. Parents also need to spend more time teaching, period. Parents were spending actually less than two hours of time supervising the child per week. Good idea. And when you're in the car with your kid, pay attention to your kid. Mommy, I don't like it when I don't know where I am and you're on the phone. Try to give teens strategies for driving intelligently. Sometimes what you need to do when you're driving is like look two cars or three cars ahead of you. Okay. See what and driving defensively. Whoa, stop! Hit, hit your brakes! What were they doing? They completely ran a red light. Right, avoiding now, the freakouts. Thank you for hearing me and not freaking out. You okay? And hopefully avoiding the dangers of the road. John Berman, ABC News, New York.